<laughs> it's your number one for hip hop is B96.5 is DJ Q Louisville stand up I have a comedic legend you've been seeing him for years he's been doing his thing not only on that stand up stage but on screen and he is coming to the 502 for the No Remorse Tour this Friday performing alongside Mike Epps some more Earthquake Gary Owens and more I'm talking about the one and only Don D.C. Curry is on the phone lines how you feeling this morning? I'm good, man. I don't, I don't like it when you call me a legend. No legend, they be dying in about six months. <laughs> nah, 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 that's not the case with you. You've been doing your thing for a long time. And you know what? I'm a big fan of comedy. And one thing, it's funny, I, I study comedians and, you know, their approach and how they handle crowds. And I always, I always said that if I had to describe your style, I would say it's more like, it's always like an uncle or, or, or a grandfather talking. He's like, boy, what you doing coming in here late like that? You know, that always remind me of your style. You know what I mean? So you always you always find a way to connect with the crowd because it's relatable content. And, and it sounds like my grandfather or my, my dad or my uncle screaming at me. <laughs> I try to keep it natural, man. I try to keep it natural, brother. <laughs> I, I want to ask you, since you've been in comedy for a little while now, um, how do you feel about cancel culture? Because you see just what recently happened, you know, with uh, Chris Rock and uh, Will Smith and a lot of people, you know, they trying to really cancel a lot of comedians for the things that they say. And I don't think that's right. How do you feel about it? No, man, I, I not only do I not think it's right. I mean, I... And, and and don't get me wrong, I'm proud of Chris Rock and how he handled it with restraint and dignity and class and all that. And I ain't been blessed with none of that. <laughs> y'all, you you would have threw it away. Me. You would have oh, threw it away. Y'all would have been ashamed of me. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, and I know Will and I know Chris, but y'all would have been ashamed of me. But so God bless Chris. Council culture, I mean, you know, if you can't take a joke, then, you know, God bless you, but you really got no business coming to a show. But you because know, I guarantee, I guarantee you, over the course of the show, I mean, you got me, you got Quake, you got Mike and some more. I guarantee you, everybody in there at some point is gonna be affected. You know. But you know, with that being on such a big public stage, I'm sure throughout your career. You've probably been in comedy clubs and some people acted like they wanted to stand up or they, they, they might have screamed across the room and got offended by some things you probably had to say. Yeah. <laughs> but they ain't never had a gut so the balls to walk up there and try to put their hands on you, though, right? No, I ain't never had that. Well, about 20 years ago, I had a guy in Huntsville, Alabama that approached <laughs> me. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I saw what he got. I didn't even let him get in my space, man. I met him about halfway. Once he got within about 10 feet of me, uh, you know, I, I I was defending what I deemed to be my space, but but uh, you know I don't mean to personally offend anybody. But I mean, what can you say with regard to the counterculture? What can you say and not offend somebody? You know, I mean, my 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 position on that is if you laugh at other people, if if a person says something about handicapped people, but the handicapped person can laugh at the joke. That's about a regular person. Then what make you think you off limits? Right, right, right. And, and I noticed that's how a lot of comedians, when they come into a room, they'll try to not only attack maybe their own, but they'll try to attack other people around them. So that way, it's kind of like the the playing field is level. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I talk about myself. I've talked about my mother. So what would make you think? <laughs> I got you. I give a, yeah, you know. But I don't. <laughs> I, I think a lot of it has to do with intent, too, you know. So if a guy is trying to be funny, a person trying to be funny, and they just miss the mark, I can accept that. When a person intends to inflict some pain, I got problems with that. So that was the case in Los Angeles when the when uh, this boy off science here went up. Oh, right, right. The, he was defending himself against some hecklers. But he abandoned his attempt to be funny when he started hollering at him, calling him names. At that point, he was just trying to inflict pain. See, right now, if you if you're just trying to be funny and you use some offensive language or something, that's one thing. But when your intent is not to be funny, see, he had abandoned his attempt to be funny. He was trying to inflict some pain, so you, you get what you get. 
Your number one for hip hop is B96.5 DJQ to take over. Make sure you keep it locked. We got more with my man Don DC Curry. He's on the phone lines. I'm telling you, he's coming to the Ville this Friday. You do not want to miss this stand up show. I'm talking about every comedian's going to light that stage up. And Don is definitely, he has never disappointed. And you want to hear more? You keep it locked. We got more right on the way. It's B96.5. <laughs> Before we get up out of here, I want you to make sure that you let everybody know how they can find you on social media. And, um, you know, is there anything you want to let anybody that's inspiring to be a comic, please tell them some words of advice. Now, there you, there you go with that. I got a guy, I got a young guy doing my social media, but I, I tell you the best I can now. I know a couple of them. <laughs> DZ.Carry.18, that's my Instagram. Don DZ Carry. I think Facebook is Don DZ Curry and uh, right off without him. That's about all I can tell you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's good enough. And that's good enough. At, I ain't mad at how the game has changed. You know, I, I, I'm proud when I see these brothers that didn't come up through the chit and circuit like we did that have just come up on social media. I ain't mad at them either, man, because times have changed, man. So God bless them. I wish them well, brother. <laughs> All right, I appreciate you, brother. Once again, thank you, Don D.C. Curry, and we're definitely going to keep supporting you, brother. One love, man. One love.